Climate change is real, and the administration is abdicating its responsibilities by denying it. There is no doubt in my mind that under the current administration, the EPA is retreating from its historic mission to protect our environment and the health of the public from environmental hazards. That was former New Jersey Governor Christine Todd Whitman. She and two other former EPA administrators under Republican presidents sounding the alarm over the Trump administration's approach to the environment and its denial of science. They went to Congress yesterday to get the country's attention. And Christine Todd Whitman joins us now. Again, she served as an EPA administrator in the George W. Bush administration. Governor Whitman, thank you very much for being here. What, what is it about what the Trump administration is doing that has caused you so much concern that you felt the need to go to Congress? Well, it's been this uh, just consistent rollback of regulations without a seeming uh, p- uh, analysis of why this particular regulation is no longer relevant. And particularly when it comes to climate change, it's the scrubbing of any mention of climate change. It's the restriction of the scientists, their ability to do their work, to say, this could be a problem and here's what we need to watch. It's, this is what's happening. You know, it's not going to make it go away. By denying it, we're, it's not going to go away. We are not, as humans, the only cause, but we certainly are a large part of it. And so we need to be studying this, and the public sees it. You see every poll that says better than 50% of the American people, even among Republicans, know the climate is changing, say the climate is changing, say it's serious, humans have some role to play, and we should be doing something. And this administration just refuses, and they're hamstringing scientists and their ability to do their work. The public also feels it. I mean, we report every day, it feels like, (laughs) certainly every week, on extreme weather that's gripping the country, extreme weather events. Um, And that, of course, is getting people's Mm -hmm. attention. You know, I asked our producers to make me a full screen graphic so we could show the viewers some of the rollbacks that President Trump has done since he's taken office. And they came back and told me that they couldn't make it because there are 83 of them. They said no graphic could ever support those 83. So we've narrowed it down to just three. I mean, just here are three at random that I will put up on the screen. The Trump administration has canceled a requirement for oil and gas companies to report methane emissions, okay? So as the ozone layer is being threatened, they've canceled that. They've revoked an Obama-era executive order designed to preserve oceans and other waters. Obviously, there's just tremendous plastic and garbage dumps in the ocean. And they've revoked Obama-era flood standards Mm -hmm. for federal infrastructure projects, just as the Midwest is having this historic flooding. Is there anything that keeps you, what is the one thing that keeps you up at night? Is there any way to put your finger on the thing that has been most alarming to you? Well, it's all of this. It's a rollback of the tailpipe standard with cars, which makes no sense. The, the car manufacturers are already there. The big manufacturers are coming to the administration saying, don't do this. But it seems to be this attitude that if Obama did it, it's gone. Good, bad, or indifferent. And that really, really worries me. The biggest thing, I guess, at long term is this erosion of trust in science. They are trying to create confusion in science by not allowing science, pure science. They are replacing people on the science advisory board with people from industry. And while industry has a right to be heard when there's a regulation that affects them, they should not be the dominant voice. But that's what we're seeing this administration again and again, talking about just the economics of an issue. EPA is about protecting public health and the environment. The economics play a role. I mean, you are allowed to consider it in some cases on clean air standards. You might consider it in others in their third set of of clean air areas where you're not allowed to consider cost benefit at all because it's too important for human health. And yet this administration seems to be ignoring that entirely and as if they're they're also going to change the way you assess deaths and attribute deaths to particular things. Uh, Studies will tell tell us that between two and 300,000 Americans die every year from dirty airborne-related causes, diseases, uh, heart attacks, emphysema, lung disease, cancer, uh, those kinds of things, asthma. It's the number one mis- reason for missed school days in children. I defy anyone to go to a, an event, if you're giving a speech or a talk, and ask the audience who has asthma, who knows someone with asthma, family member with asthma, Two-thirds of the hands in that room will go up. I mean, it's happened to me every time that I've done it, no matter where I've done it. I even did it at a graduation and the same thing happened. Mm. 
this is serious. We don't know what causes asthma, but we do know what can trigger attack and what can make it worse. And that's yeah. dirty air. So we ought to be going after these things. And oh, by the way, they contribute to climate change as well. Well, on the flip side, I mean, you bring up the economics. What the president's um, people in his administration have told me, along with his supporters, is that they felt there were too many regulations that had piled up over the decades and that they were a stranglehold on business, not just big corporations, but even mm. small business owners and farmers. And was that a fair point? Yes. I mean, that's absolutely fair. And I think a regulation should be revisited because we learn more. Science gets more. If you allow science to be science, it'll find out more things. It will determine that maybe something that we thought was really bad isn't quite as bad or that you can, there are new technologies to deal with it that aren't as burdensome. That's absolutely appropriate. But as you mentioned at the start, if you've rolled back 85 regulations in this time period in less than four years, uh, you're not doing the kind of scientific study behind them to justify those rollbacks. That's the one piece of good news because the rollbacks will be um, challenged. They'll be challenged in court. And if they haven't done the job, they being EPA, hasn't done the job in saying, OK, this is why this is no longer relevant. You can't just get up in the morning and say, you know, I think arsenic's OK. Go ahead and have a glass. You've got to come back with this is why the standard is set at the wrong place. It needs to be higher. It needs to be lower. Mm -hmm. And this is the, the backup, the scientific data backup that justifies that. So it's fine to look at them, but that means that's got to be a deliberate process, and you don't do that overnight. That's really interesting. Thank you for all of the information this morning. Former Governor Christine Todd Whitman, thank you. We appreciate your expertise on this.